here we are at GameStop on a windy day to pick up some great deals on some Pokemon cards. So here's what we picked up, a GameStop exclusive Eevee Premium Collection box. Originally priced at $70 and honestly not really worth it for $70. You get nine packs, which is a lot, but really that's only worth about $45. So to get it at GameStop for $40 was finally worth it. Let's open it up and see what we get. See here we have our colorful wheel of Evolution cards as well as an EVV card. We have a Chilling Rain, looks like two Fusion Strike, two Brilliant Stars, two Astral Radiance, and finally, two of Lost Origin. Let's start this off and hopefully we get some first pack magic because we all know, while most people have called this set Chilling Pain, I actually think it has been Chilling Gain because we have been pulling pretty decent cards from it, actually, uh, at least from the stuff I pulled. Now, granted, I probably just jinxed myself. All right, so we have Water Energy in the front, followed by Spiral Energy, Honey, along with Mustard, Avery after that, Blitzel, Ghastly, A Coughing, Delibird, Galarian Farfetched, a Reverse Holographic Laron, and for the card in the back, a holographic Porygon Z. So, nothing too crazy, but still a hit nonetheless. So, can't hate on Chilling Rain too much for this one. All right, one pack down, eight more to go. Let's move on now to Fusion Strike with Mew on the cover. Let's put four in the front, cross our fingers, and hope that we did not get a bad pack because of the guy stealing all the good pools. Electric Energy followed by Schoolboy. Then a Primeape, Zarude, looking ferocious, Mantine with a Remoraid beneath it, of course, Grubbin with a little sneak peek at Rotom, Smeargle, Carvana, card behind Carvana is a reversed Aracuda, and for the card in the back, a regular rare Centiscord. All right, moving on now to Brilliant Stars. I accidentally almost opened this pack without any of the cameras rolling, so good thing I stopped myself. Four cards to the front. It won't be much longer that we get to do that anymore. Dark Energy, Crawdont. Of course, the new packs, they have a different way of doing it. You only take one card from the back, and that is the Energy card. So it won't be much longer that we can do four to the front. Nose Pass, Dedene, a Reverse Holographic Ball Toy, and for the card in the back, a regular rare All Creamy. Move on to Astral Radiance. Let's take four from the back, and hopefully we've got ourselves a hit in one of these packs. So far, only a Holographic, so not the best. Grant, followed by Switch Cart, Bisharp, followed by Mischievous, Barboach, Ponyard, Eevee, Heracross. Oh, look at that! We got ourselves a Trainer Gallery Bronzong. So finally, we get an actual pool that looks pretty cool. The Porygon Z was okay, but this Bronzong here, Trainer Gallery, is really cool to look at. And the card behind it, regular rare Mighty Dina. But that's okay, because we got this epic Bronzong card. All right, so on our fourth pack, we finally got something good. Moving on to the fifth pack of Lost Origin. And we're off. Fighting Energy, followed by a Lampent. Iskan, or Iskan, I'm not sure. Dotler, followed by Oddish. Hisuian Growlithe, Sea Dot, a lot of grass and fire in this. Slugma. Dynamo, Misfortune Sisters, pretty cool there from, of course, the Legends Arceus game. And for the card in the back, a regular rare Politoed. So, so far, only really Astral Radiance has given us something good. So, fingers crossed that these last couple packs here have some hints in them. Moving on now to Fusion Strike. If I had to take a guess, Fusion Strike would not be the pack to have a hit in it. 
probably gonna have to come from one of the other sets. Steel energy in the front, followed by Phalanx, Galarian Darmanitan, Sligu, Jigglypuff, Durant, followed by a Panseer, Minun, Ball Toy, a Reverse Holographic Pyukumuku, and with card behind it, a regular rare Kangaskhan. So, as I predicted, Fusion Strike would not be the set to have our hit in it. My uh, hopes are pretty low for that set, knowing that it has a lot of the good cards taken out of it. All right, on to Brilliant Stars now. Fighting Energy in the front, followed by Roseanne's Backup, Probo Pass, Prinplup, Burmy, with all three of them on there, the Grass, Sand, and Trash Cloak, Staryu, Carablast, Clefairy, Cheruby, a Reverse Holographic Heatran, and for the card in the back, a Mimikyu VMAX. So look at that, we actually do get a hit here. This one being a Mimikyu VMAX. Some cool artwork there. His eyes are shining underneath that Pikachu-like disguise. All right, so we have two packs remaining. Last time, Astral Radiance did give us a hit, and Lost Origin did not. So let's open up for Astral Radiance in thoughts that the other Astral Radiance pack was the one that has the hit in it. Moment of truth, let's see. Second and last pack, here we go. Electric energy in the front, followed by an unidentified fossil, a Bronzong, Roxanne, Hisuian Growlithe, Bergmite, Rufflet, Ponita, Chatot, Hoot Hoot, and regular rare leaf yawn in the back. So we are down to our final pack. So here we go, Lost Origin, our final pack. Let's hope for some last pack magic from these Eevees. So here we go, our ninth and final pack. So if you think about it, it's kind of like an elite trainer box with the price of $40, but you get one extra pack. Toolbox, Gloom, Gastrodon, Ducklet, Hisuian Zorua, Binnacle, Gumi, Bronzor, a reverse holographic Makuhita, and for the card in the back, final card, a regular rare Dugong. So only two hits from this pack, but that's okay. We at least had a good time opening up nine packs, one extra than an Elite Trainer box. And of course you get all of the Evolutions and an EVV card. That's all we have for this video. I'll catch you in the next one.